All right. Hi, my name is Matteo Toninalli, and I'm the COO at Visium, where we develop tailored machine learning solutions for the world's best brands. Today, in the next five minutes, I'd like to walk you through a typical project that we do at Visium. And in order to address this very uh, wide and diverse audience, I chose a problem that is shared across all industries. Written documents are everywhere in organizations, and they are central to them. You can have reports, memos, or contractual uh, data that are uh, essential into the functioning of the, of the company on a day-to-day -day basis. All these documents contain very valuable information, but some of this in information is particularly critical for uh, the well functioning of a company. Let me uh, go more in details uh, with an example for this one. Let's imagine you're a company and you have one of your uh, long-lasting customers with whom you have a recurrent uh, contract template that you use for uh, all of your uh, services. And now uh, meet Lori. Lori is a brilliant saleswoman who three years ago managed to decrease, after countless hours of negotiation, the payment terms of that company from 90 to 45 days. Now, as you can imagine, this is great for all of your uh, cash flow and operations. You're going to have the money 45 days in advance. However, after celebrating with her team, they forgot to update the information in the ERP system. And so for the finance and accounting department of the company, the payments are still to be expected after 90 days. As you can imagine, this has drastic consequences on uh, the whole uh, financial uh, cash flow of, of, of the said company. And these mismatches, uh, these mismatches in, in information that we can find all over a company's operations have uh, more uh, and other pr problematic aspects to them. Now, this is only a specific example, but we can find plenty of such cases. And the particularly important problem here is that this is not something that can be easily and manually addressed because companies have thousands and thousands of documents. So if one needs to go and, and manually check all of these documents again, it's going to take forever. That's why we decided to uh, devise a solution that will do this in an automated fashion. We leverage state-of-the-art uh, transformer ar architectures for question answering in order to efficiently extract contextual uh, semantic information from the documents, such as the contract number, the payment terms, and other uh, information that can be queried from the document like a regular human would do. And then we intelligently match and map it with uh, um, the ERP system to find any incongruences and to reconciliate uh, those. Now, enough talking. I'm just going to show you a brief demonstration for the first part of this pipeline. So you can find uh, here a, a first view of, of the dashboard we developed for the, for the project. Uh, this is just a generic uh, set of information that you, you need to provide before running the analysis. Then uh, you, want, you will want to uh, drag and drop, uh, sorry. You will want to uh, drag and drop the information into the, uh, um, your, the, 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 the particular contract or PDF documents that you're interested in into the box here. Uh, you can upload up to three files. And then from here, you can select from a set of predefined questions about the documents that you wish to, to investigate. So in our case, to take, go back to the uh, example we had before, we're going to ask for the payment terms and the contract date, because we want to be able to check if the contract is uh, up to date with the current uh, ERP information. So wh which version of the con contract we should look at. Once you've chosen these uh, questions, you need to, do, to, to just agree that you can upload the data. The data is loaded, so since it's a PDF a scan document, we need to OCRize first, uh, OCRize it, and then uh, we run this contextual analysis. After this is complete, we can access the results. So um, we have the, the document name. You can group by document and group by question. And uh, you have the answer of the question with an indication of where it was found in the document. And you can also look up for the context around the, 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 the answer. 
So for uh, this particular case, uh, we find that the payment terms, which are at 60 days, should, um, uh, are just present in the terms and conditions part of the, of the document. Um, together with that, you get an information about the uh, confidence of the model for the returned uh, answer. And um, you can uh, see that uh, for the first one, we have 91%, for the second one, 94%. Uh, and we also get the actual contract dates uh, with information of where it was found in the document. So this is just a short example of, of what can be achieved with uh, these new models. And if you want to know more, don't hesitate to come by at our booth. We'd write below the elevator and we'd be happy to talk more in depth about this. Thank you very much. Many thanks for this interesting talk.